Hi everyone, it's Yanis here and in this video we will explore what is semantic memory. We will look at what it is, how does it work, why it's important and I'll also share some examples to illustrate it. If this is your first time on this channel, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates on my latest videos about time management and productivity. Semantic memory is one of two types of explicit memory, our memory of facts or events that are explicitly stored. Semantic memory refers to general world knowledge that we have accumulated throughout our lives. These general knowledge are things like facts, ideas, meaning and concepts. Semantic memory is distinct from episodic memory, which is our memory of experiences and specific events that occur during our lives. I know it might sound a bit confusing, so let me give you a few real-life examples to illustrate it. You might have a semantic memory that contains information about what is a dog, whereas episodic memory may contain a specific event where you remember taking your dog for a walk one day. Or let's say that you have a semantic memory that contains information about how to bake a cake. But if you remember how you were baking a cake last weekend, then that will be an episodic memory. It is important to understand that in order to improve your semantic memory, you have to invest your time in learning. The easiest and cheapest way to learn is by simply reading a books or online articles. More you learn about something, easier it will be for you to understand and remember. You can also learn through experiences, by going and doing things. So instead of reading about how to become a better writer, you can simply practice writing. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I was able to give you a quick overview of what semantic memory is and what role it plays in our life. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you could press the like button as this will help the video reach more people and spread the message.